Hi, Matyash here from PineGrow. Pico CSS is a simple CSS framework that works with semantic HTML elements. And compared to frameworks like Bootstrap Tailwind, it doesn't use classes. Like here, we just use like the HTML elements themselves. Um, and they are styled with the framework. And Pico CSS can be customized with either CSS variables or if we want a more in-depth customization with SAS variables. And PineGrow is great for working with SAS projects because it comes with a built-in SAS compiler that shows all our edits live as we do them. I prepared a simple starter, starter project that contains Pico CSS uh, SAS setup um, so that it can be easily customized uh, with SAS variables. Let me quickly show you how to use it. So this is the project. It has Pico folder that contains the Pico SAS uh, sources as they are without any modifications. And here we have custom Pico C C S C S S file. And I, I, let's click it to open it here in the code editor. And this is the place where we'll add our customizations. And then this is the compiled file that is included into HTML files, just a normal CSS file. And then index HTML is empty file. You can add your content here. And preview HTML contains preview of um, HTML elements styled with Pico CSS. So then when we make changes, we can see their results uh, here. Let let me close this and here is our custom Pico CSS. And now we can go and modify some values and usually colors will be the values that will be most often customized. And to see what variables we need to change, let's go into Pico C sources, SAS sources. And here we have variables file. So let's click to open it. And here we see a bunch of variables that we could change. But no colors here. And colors are located in Teams default colors file. If you take a look, like primary color, it, it works by defining the hue. And then it's using this hue to calculate all different uh, shades of the primary color. So to change the variables, let's just copy the one we want to change. And we paste it into our custom Pico file. We also need a semicolon. And if we make a change, We can notice here that the primary color um, changed. 15, 45. So we need to kind of come up with, with the correct hue. So either we, we customize colors by using the hue, or we could also just overwrite all these primary colors, all the shades with our specific uh, colors. So I will leave this up to you. You can customize it however you want. And when we want to update the Pico version used in the project, um, we simply download the latest Pico distribution and it contains the CSS folder and we copy that folder and override 
and place it in Pico folder here in the project. So basically, we override the SCSS folder with the latest version from the Pico CSS distribution. And for this reason, it is important not to make any changes in any of the files here in the Pico folder because they will be lost when we update the Pico files. And instead, all the ch changes we do, all the customizations we do should be done in the custom Pico SCSS file. And just a note when using uh, this approach with WordPress themes created in Pinegrow, there is no need to copy to export the SAS source files into the exported team project. So there we just click on, on, on the Pico folder and if WordPress is active, then we get like um, a choice. Do we want to export this? And then we say no. And we do the same for this file. So that's all, like the starter is available on, on GitHub. You can clone it and use it for your own project. So have fun with Pico CSS and Pinegrow. Bye-bye.